welcome the next speaker from Myanmar, uh, uh, Dr. Aunai So. Are you ready? Yes. Dr. Aunai So, yes. yes. He's, uh, the, uh, he's based in Yango. He's a, a director of the Geneva Base the City Cancer Challenge Foundation. He's working with many cities in Asia. Uh, Dr. Aunai So, please. Hi everyone. Uh, thanks for allowing me to uh, participate in this uh, very interesting webinar and I would like to thanks for giving me a chance to present about this COVID response to uh, community response to the COVID in containment measure in Myanmar. Uh, my presentation will be very much different from the previous presentation. In this presentation I focus mostly on the community perspective and I interview nine uh, different location from Apple, Middles, and the Lower Myanmar. And uh, I gather some of their thought as well. And that will be uh, very short to the point. I would like to explain a little bit about the Myanmar country context. Myanmar is, everybody know this, in the Southeast Asian country. We were located between China, Thailand, India, Bangladesh, and Laos. As you see, the first case happens in China. The first case outside is in Thailand. And now the highest number of the case happen is India and Bangladesh. Well, till now, Myanmar still have a case number of less than 300 confirmed. The population of Myanmar is 54 million. The majority of the people so live in the rural area, which is 70% accountable for. And in that point, I would like to emphasize one thing is that the migrants worker issue. In the IOM report that Myanmar have uh, like a 4.25 million people living abroad. 70% of them are living in Thailand. And after that, they were in Malaysia, China, Singapore, and USA. For the Thailand, Thailand migrant from the border area, they are almost like a 1 million people from the nearby states and region. So this is uh, everybody knows that the first case outside China was confirmed in Thailand on the 30th of January and WHO announced as the pandemic on 11. In Myanmar, we found the first case on 23rd of March. Those are from the Britannies, from USC and UK. And at the national level, the government has found the national level emergency response committee for COVID on March 30th and the first dead case was reported on 31st March. In Myanmar, the preparation and readiness for the COVID response is very much different and very in the depends on the states and region. Most, uh, most uh, only like um, that's a committee, but based on the community levels and the cities levels, the township level, they are taking their own measure and they are putting their own measure. For instance, like uh, Mandalay City is uh, always ahead of the, all the other states and region in the COVID response. Even before the WHO announced as a global emergency, Mandalay has already formed their own surveillance and response team led by the city mayor. And uh, that can also create and trigger the other community, especially at the village level, the other cities level and the township level. They are also developing their own committee to respond for the COVID. The background of Manly, this is the second largest city and economic center in Myanmar. The population about 1.4 million and it's uh, located on the crossroads of China and India. So as I uh, mentioned earlier, I have interviewed the nine telephone interview across Myanmar to gather the, some of their thought and insight to reflect actually what community is doing and responding. The public awareness is a very crucial as the communication. The first 10 hours to be the most important and effective information dissemination too is the Facebook. Uh, during the COVID and uh, before COVID, there's uh, always the newspapers and the other uh, published journey. In Myanmar, the, those are not reaching properly to the community level. So a lot of people, they are using mobile. The mobile network is widely available. And Facebook is actually that they are information tools and they are looking at the Facebook and the news from the different region and also from their region and 
the popular leaders and they are following what they are doing. The turning point which maximized the COVID public awareness is the, the evacuation of the 59 Myanmar students from the Wuhan city with the government arranged relief flight on the February 2nd. And they were put in the quarantine for 14 days in the Mandalay, in fact, one of the infection hospitals in Mandalay city. They were all over the Facebook, they were all over the news and the journalists and that actually maximizing the public awareness and they are touching the heart. So again, I will emphasize on the Facebook again, it's the Mandalay City Committee. They are posting what they are doing regularly on their Facebook page and also on the mayor's Facebook page. That can make the other regional and state government as well as the village and community leader to learn locally and adapt their community action plan for the COVID response. So in this uh, interview, what I found out is that uh, Hand washing facility. Hand washing facilities, uh, they were quite easy to adapt and then they are installing those hand washing facilities at the entrance of the office, bazaar, the roadside of the uh, important people gathering place, by the community donation mostly. And some of the popular retail shops, they are putting the hand washing facility in front of their shops. They are also doing the thermal screening measure, but uh, it's a routine, so I didn't put in that one. But the face mask, the face mask is the important one. In the community, they said the face masks are really available, but uh, the way they are available is that the disposable masks are sometimes becoming the reusable. And 60% uh, of their PBS are not able to covering the masks properly. And the reason is that they said they are not used to wearing. The, the complaint, especially is the incomplete net of breathing. They feel difficult in breathing with the wearing marks and difficult to speak and communicate with each other. And the weather like in Myanmar is very hot. So with the heavy sweating and the marks and they are not very much comfortable and they, they don't wear the marks properly. Those are the very much challenges of the infection control measure for marks in Myanmar. The community respond in the quarantine. So the community respond in the quarantine is that in Myanmar, the international flight, they were banned start from the 30th of March, but the international flight is, uh, is a factor that can co contribute and trigger those that travel a health issue about like a COVID. But the major concern for the, the community is uh, the migrant workers. As I describes earlier, there's a 4.25 million migrants worker working in Thailand and also in Malaysia. And as you see in the pictures, a lot of them, they were coming back. One is like, uh, because of the COVID, most of the factories in the neighboring country, they were closed and they were jobless, some they have to come back. And second thing is like, uh, they, a lot of them were the migrant, illegal migrant workers and they cannot get the healthcare properly and they were not accountable for. So this time of like a crisis, they would like to come back home. In a village, what they are doing is that uh, they put the small tent outside of the village for those, the migrant worker returned back to the village and they put them in the quarantine for the 14 days initially. But uh, one is changed to the 21 day, they adapt according to the, uh, the government has been announced for the 21 days. Those are the example of the community quarantine. But at the city level, the measure is uh, doing like a community quarantine as the road and the building where the positive cases were confirmed and diagnosed were locked down. And the international returnings from the, uh, especially with the flight, they were put into the hospitals or designated location. That's me, some are at the hotel, some are at the uh, monastery, especially the meditation center at this time, they were putting them as a quarantine place. And in some village, what they are using is the, the school building, the, the secondary or the high school building, they are using this one as a quarantine center. 
the physical distancing and social distancing, as uh, you see. At this time, Myanmar, most of the people gather in the, uh, the outside the cities area, the village, and most of the areas are the morning bazaar, the green market, you can see that. And if you see in the picture, the building in the back of this uh, market is the actual one, they have to open the market, but they were both into the outside space. And they put this square as a six feet apart as the community measures and they are selling their green uh, materials. And you can see in the other market as an example in the AOR division, this is how they are selling their, their things. And this type of the community and social distancing measure was in place. And we can see that we, we are lucky uh, coincidence with the summer vacation of the school children, especially for the primary to the high school. So there was no specific measure that's needed to add in place for physical distancing on closing the school. But till now, the school were not open yet. Uh, the university, they were closed since uh, first positive cases reported. So as a summary, uh, the migrant returnees are the major concerns for the COVID-19 pandemics in Myanmar, and there are illegal migrants returning across Myanmar. So those are the major concerns, and contact tracing and isolation of those people is crucial, and currently government is doing. When I was uh, gathering all those information and writing, they were based in the information from April to uh, May only. And again, what I would like to emphasize here is the leadership is crucial in the community movement and participation. And uh, in the group, a lot of the, uh, our colleagues are talking about the leadership. Say leadership is crucial, but not a, like a hot leadership, soft leadership. In Myanmar, what we have been doing so far good is that uh, each community, each village and the city, the township or the district, lead by the general administration department or the local, local people, whoever they are leading, they form as a committee. So the decision became like a consensus decision based on the uh, input from uh, knowledge of the technical people. So if you see, they gather the information from the recognized local leader, like the one from the Mandalay city, and also even from the state councillor, the Ministry of Health, and the best way to reach the information is the Facebook still. And after that, they try to solve uh, with the local, with the adaptive solution. And they also take the guidance from the accredited health personnel in their region, especially like the midwife or the nurse or the doctors. And they gather regularly for the updated information and a new measure that has to be put in place. And thank you so much. If you have uh, other questions and further would like to discuss, please feel free to reach me. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Aung. It's a very interesting discussion so based on the uh, city-based community response to the COVID-19 in Myanmar. And, and we are keeping a note to the question to ask you. And at this moment, uh,